Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Uh, hopefully this video is of use to some people out there. Um, just going to quickly cover upgrading and downgrading of firmware on Unify devices. So if you've had a device update and are experiencing issues with the latest firmware or you're trying to try out some early access firmware to try and resolve some bugs, uh, just a quick run through on uh, how to quickly and easily achieve that. Um, we're going to do this in the new GUI or the current GUI or whatever you want to call this GUI. So um, first things first, obviously, sign in. And obviously you've got all your devices, etc. listed. I'm going to borrow this uh, here as a Nano HD access point. And what we will do is click on it. Obviously I'll open up over here on the right hand side. And you're going to want to go into settings, scroll down. And what you will find generally on most uh, wizard driven setups or most new setups is the manual firmware update option and it will be grayed out. So uh, to re-enable that you are going to need to go into settings, you're going to need to go into system, you're going to need to go into updates and untick automatic device updates. This is my own system here and it's also used as a test bed hence why it's on a few early access things. And once that is done, then go back to the device, back to settings, and scroll down and you'll see manual firmware update is now enabled. So you can click manual firmware update, and that will prompt you for a location URL. Now, what you need to enter here, uh, you will need to grab from Ubiquity, so change tabs. And we have gone into the Ubiquity forum. So community.ui.com, link down below for that. Um, and you are want to go, uh, we're going to want to go into the releases option at the top, and this is all the current firmware releases from Ubiquity. So we're going to want to find, obviously, see here the current newest Unify Access Point firmware as of today, which is the nineteenth of the tenth, twenty twenty two, is six point two point four one. But for example, if you needed to say roll back to six point two point three nine, which is the last official release, or if you have uh, early access access uh, you can pick up a newer firmware so you'll go into that you will then expand out the download links option where you will see all the relevant devices this firmware is applicable to and we want to go for the UAP Nano HD so if it's the Inwall HD the Flex HD and the Beacon HD and we are going to right click on that and go copy link and we're going to go back to our controller tab and we're going to paste that link in there and we're going to hit the update button and that will then trigger the access point to start updating itself now you can do that via obviously the old GUI as well in pretty much the same manner but for now we're going to focus on the new GUI and that will go off and update and you can join me when it has finished updating and rebooting itself uh, 6.2.39 uh, which we can see there so uh, we now obviously get the option here to click to update because obviously the controller knows that there's an update out and we're running out of date firmware but if this fixes the issue great you can then try re-upgrading sometimes that will fix issues you can also uh, leave it as it is for the moment um, obviously where we have removed the auto update option uh, obviously, if there is a firmware update, the system will then require you to manually update all of your devices, which uh, is an option. Uh, some people prefer to leave things manually all the time. Some people run auto updates. Depends on the requirements for us. So uh, I leave mine on automatic purely and simply because uh, I like to know when it's going to break. And then I go in and fix it because this is my system. But there we go. So you can obviously upgrade, downgrade within reason as much as you like. Um, it's useful for troubleshooting sometimes. Uh, obviously upgrade a few test APs first and uh, make sure that uh, you have tested any new firmware that comes out and go from there. So hopefully this has been useful. Please feel free to drop us a like, uh, share, subscribe, comment down below um, and uh, hopefully catch you in the next one.